So you've got the truth, you've got the method. You go and look in the mirror. And if you're like that, if it's difficult, if you feel the hate towards yourself, that's because you're hurting. And you've got a right to hurt. You've got a right to feel everything. You've got a right to feel jealous. You've even got a right to hate me if you watch this video. You've got a right to hate the whole world. This is the process. This is the, um, the ugly part of it. You've got a right to hate everyone and not trust anyone at this point. This is not the destination, this is just the process. So it's not your fault what happened, but it's your responsibility. And you can't go out being horrible to people. So now it gets exciting. Now you start to think, now you think, is it worth killing myself? Nah, I don't want to kill myself. I'm a grown man. I've got, a, I've got a pair of bollocks between my legs. I'm a man. I've got breath, I can breathe, I've got health, I've got 24 hours in a day. I can put this right. I don't need to be violent. I don't need to cheat anymore. In fact, I'll lose everything. I'll practice being abandoned. Abandon me, do it then. I'm excited about being abandoned because I was abandoned anyway. Even when I had women, I had alcohol and I made loads of money, I felt abandoned. So what's the difference between having money and feeling abandoned and having no money and feeling about the same feeling? Still in hell. So you lose everything, you think, ah, oh, relief, it's all gone now. Oh, I don't care who judged me, I don't, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I was frightened of people judging me all my life. That's what kept me prisoner. And we go deeper, we go deeper and deeper in truth. We say, oh, there must be good people out in the world because I'm feeling good in me. There must be people I can trust. There must be a good girlfriend out there for me. There must be about a hundred million potential girlfriends for me. There must be money to be made. There's millions in the world. There must be good projects. There must be good, a good business. There must be a job I love. There must be room for me to be myself. There must be space for my dreams to manifest. There has to be a possibility for me to forgive the person who hurt me, to forgive my dad. People change, people can change. You can change. And you don't have to rush, there's no pressure. You can change the story. You can build a whole new social circle. You can get all that jealousy out of you, that's what I did. So you won't need to, be, there's no reason to feel jealous when you've got it, when you've got all the opportunities. What's the need to feel jealous? You can give up competing and being dishonest, you can get around good people. You can talk to your friend the way I'm talking to you now. You can challenge me. You can not listen to me. You can challenge yourself. You can challenge the whole world. You can access love, self-love. Don't listen to the gurus. Don't listen to me. I'm not a guru. I'm the same as you. But I've done it. I've got the experience. I love being me. I'm myself. I'm comfortable, I'm socially relaxed. And I'm still scared sometimes. That's because I'm a human being, but it's, it's all right, it doesn't matter, it's fine. It's actually working in my favor. And I love my mum, I love my mum to bits. I don't have any anger towards my mum, just nothing but love towards my mum. And I love my dad, I've forgiven my dad. I'm still in the process, but I've for forgiven him. Everything's changed. I'm now able to see all the good he did for me. I'm even able to forgive the buddies at school and to forgive myself. I'm so excited that I'm an honest person. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to hide, only to reveal. The honesty is teaching me. I don't have to force this on anyone, it's not a religion, it's not, um, it's not an egocentric idea, it's a state of being, it's a state of consciousness, it's a, it's a choice, it's yours, it's all of us. As Alan Watts says, the only way I can know me is by knowing you, and the only way you can know me is by knowing yourself. 
and I've still got temptation, that's all right as well. Jesus had temptation, Prophet Muhammad had temptation, Eckhart Tolle has temptation, everyone has temptation. I get temp tempted thoughts, but I've got the self-control to just be aware of the thoughts but not identify with them. I'm fucking scared some days, I'm scared that I won't be liked, but I'm relieved that I'm able to admit that to myself and not hide and wear a mask. I'm frightened I'll be rejected, I'm frightened I'll be poor, I'll never make money, but that's a relief, that's okay, I've got the truth, I'm, I, I can be frightened of that fear, but I, I'm me, I'm myself. I'm great with people, I'm great at connecting, but that frightens me too. Because what if I have too many friends and I don't have time to meet all of them? I'm scared of being successful, I'm scared of being massive. I'm scared of what's, what success will mean to me, but I'm excited by what success will mean to me. Can't believe it was this easy. Oh yes, what relief, people can be trusted. You know that already, I just had to tell you. Do you know how you know people can be trusted? Because if you're able to find that trust in yourself, then you can find that trust in other people. Yin and yang. So if you're able to hate people, you'd be able to love them. It's a transition. If you can be greedy, you can be kind. If you can be a failure and a loser, you can be a winner. If you can be dishonest, you can be honest. If you can be insecure, you can be secure. If you can be broke and poor, you can be rich and happy. If you can be racist, you can be non-racist, you can change. If you wear a mask, you can take the mask off. If you had social anxiety, you can become socially confident. It's a personal choice. If you're unfit and you're out of shape, then you can get fit and get in shape. If you're tired all the time, if you're tired, you can get inspired. Oh, that rhymed. Practice. So when you become honest, you have to keep practicing honesty. But it's not a chore, it's not a have to, it's a joy. It's like saying, I have to love my girlfriend who I'm in love with. You don't, it's not something you, it's not a, a choice, it's automatic, it's natural. And then everything that hurt you and harmed you helped you. Of course it's about love, you already know that. Of course love is not easy, I know I can hear it, you're telling me now, you guys are telling me in girls, but love is difficult, I struggle to love myself. When you become honest, it's easy, it's automatic. I don't force love, I don't sit here going, oh, I'm trying to get love down from the sky, or come on, love me, please, come on, I've got to love myself. It's not, it's not, it's not forced, it's, it's just uh, an allowing. And it's okay to get depressed, because you'll be back out. When you're honest, and you know who you are, you're your authentic self, of course sometimes you're going to feel jealousy, you're in a fucking human body, you're a human being, we're being taught this rubbish on the media everywhere. But to feel jealousy, and just to go, okay I feel a bit of jealousy, it's gone now, and to be, to be a jealous person all the time, that's completely different. Of course you can have days where you feel a little bit of hate and you hate everyone, but to feel it for five minutes and then for it to pass, and be back to normal loving everyone, that's completely different to hating people all the time. To feel a bit insecure for five minutes or an hour, or have a day where you just don't feel confident. We're allowed, we're human, man. Jeez, bloody hell, wake up, people. But then to go back and feel confident for most of the time, that's great. This is my truth, this is my honesty, this is why I don't do infield videos. I'm in the field anyway. Look, it's a field, do you wanna see in field? <laughs> Do 
so it's a personal choice i do these videos guys because i enjoy it i do it because it, i i, I want to do it i choose to help people who've got social anxiety trauma low self-esteem lack confidence and i'm it's so i'm so grateful to have women following my channel as well does that mean i've given up sex of course not I can't fucking wait to have sex. It's been a year and a half I've been holding out, but it's gonna be with the right person. This is my choice. So I'm not telling you how to live, but I'm telling you, I'm not telling you anything. I'm sharing with you. This is what I do when I work people and I teach them. Sorry, it's my phone. So, um, I'm blessed guys. I'm blessed, but I'm scared. I am scared. I'm scared because I'm so happy. My life's going so well. And I see so many other people suffering. And I want to help more people. But I can't help a man who doesn't want to help himself. And I can't help a woman who doesn't want to help herself. Because I'm not a fucking guru, man. I'm too flawed, but I am honest. <laughs> I keep saying I know I'm just happy this has been the best thing I've ever done guys I'm talking to you guys on the council estate because you're all my friends I'm the same as you I'm talking to the businessmen I'm talking to the pretty women who wear high heels and put makeup on and try and hide their fear I'm talking to everyone who's had social anxiety and fear you can change it I did it and I knew I could do it I've got to thank my dad because he hurt me but he helped me he's a very good man I love my dad to bits So I'm just going to say a prayer now, so I'll, I'll ask God, hopefully my dad won't see this video because I don't want to hurt my dad, but if he does see this video, he knows that this video is in good light and it's because I'm very grateful for what he did to me. Um, I've got a much better relationship with him and um, I've forgiven him. He was a very good dad, he did a lot of good things right and he continues to be a good dad. And I love my mum as well. Love all my family. And this is a new path for me. This is how I've chosen to live my life. This is incredible. My social anxiety has enabled me to connect with people from every different background. No, ba no barriers, all the bullshit, I cut it out. It protects me as well. It protects me from any dishonesty or violence. But even if you don't like my video and you don't want to listen to it, I still understand. So that's why no more infill videos, not on this channel. Everything from a place of congruence. Everything from a place of truth, love and vulnerability and masculinity, if you want to add that. Guys, I'm only, I'm only a man. I've only become a man in the last two years because... Because I took responsibility and I stopped playing victim, I stopped blaming people, blaming everyone. I am strong, I know that you, all of you can see that. And I want the guys from the council estate to see that, I want the guys from the working class background to see that, because they'll relate to me on this, because they might not want to be as vulnerable as me. But I'm strong because I'm vulnerable as well, I've got the confidence to be vulnerable. And I only cry I'm not going to cry on camera, YouTube, don't worry. I only cry by myself when I feel like crying because Mike Tyson cried. Mike Tyson wasn't even originally one of my idols, but Mike Tyson inspired me. Why am I talking about Mike Tyson? Why am I talking about an ex-black uh, guy from the hood who became successful and people started to judge him? Because I see myself in Mike Tyson. Exactly the same. From a poor neighbor, he was bullied, that's why he became violent, now he changed. Of course I see myself in Mike Tyson. Why the fuck would I, why would I cry when he speaks? Why do I see myself in Ricky Hatton? Do I want to be Mike Tyson? Of course I don't want to be Mike Tyson. I don't want to be Ricky Hatton. I'm myself, I'm Johnny. I was going to say I'm Johnny Berber. My name's Jonathan, Johnny for short. But we'll stay with Johnny Berber for now. But I get inspired by other people. I see in other people what I feel is similar to me.
inspiration. I was inspired to uh, change my social anxiety. I've said it before and I stick to it. I got a lot of help. I was inspired by Floyd. I was inspired by Les Brown. I was inspired by my dad. I was inspired by my nan, my mum, my brother. I was inspired by the people that bullied me around my area. They taunted me. They took the piss out of me. People at school, the teach. I got inspiration everywhere. I was inspired by Jesus Christ. I was inspired by so much stuff. Inspiration is everywhere if you look for it, but the, the main source of the inspiration, myself. That's enough for now. Enjoy the process, and I know this will help you by it.